Hey everyone, welcome to Plants and Politics. So the chairman of the House Armed Services Committee is warning that MAGA supporters are planning another attack on the Capitol on March 4th. That date has significance because there's this new QAnon conspiracy theory that's been brewing and circulating since their fail on Inauguration Day when they expected Trump to be sworn in again and everybody else to be hauled off to prison or something. Prior to 1933, March 4th was the official inauguration day in the U.S. It, and according to QAnon believers, the U.S. hasn't actually been a real country, this is what they've said, since before Roosevelt was president, and no president has been legitimate since the 16th Amendment was passed in 1871. And yes, I realize this doesn't make sense at all because they're basically admitting that even Trump wasn't a legitimate president, but that's how these insane QAnon theories work and how the cult members just go along with this garbage. It doesn't need to make sense. It just needs to lead in their minds to their favored outcome. So apparently, based on this nonsensical, batshit crazy theory, these people are now considering another capital attack on March 4th because they believe that this, not the January inauguration day, but this is going to be it. This is the day that they refer to as the storm. This is when they believe that these evil baby-eating pedophile Democrats are going to be rounded up and executed or arrested, and then Trump will once again become president. If you've watched my, my other piece on the whole QAnon thing and how I posit that maybe it was actually a liberal punking them, they talk about now even Biden being in on it. That's how they've rationalized <laughs> him being in the White House and being the president is that he's been in on this whole thing this whole time and he's helping Trump to do this. So based on this insanity, the Capitol Police requested that 5,000 National Guard troops remain in D.C. until sometime around mid-March and a Pentagon official told this committee that they're working closely with the FBI, the Secret Service, and Capitol Police, and others to determine an appropriate level of troops in DC based on a supposed threat. However, they're kind of talking out of both sides of their mouth because according to what the Assistant Secretary of Defense for Homeland Defense told the committee, there was, quote, no specific credible threat to the homeland at this time, but that the situation continued to be monitored. So I'm confused. Which is it? Is there a specific credible threat or is there not? I, I'm not understanding if they are saying they don't want to send these troops away and then have to bring them back. If there's no credible threat at this time, why are we paying for National Guard troops to be there? And why are they telegraphing, even more important, when they're going to be moving them out of D.C.? If you seriously think that Biden is at risk or members of Congress or whatever the case may be, whatever the threat is that they've assessed, why would you tell a attempted terrorists, supposed terrorists, <laughs> hey, we're only going to have people here protecting us until this date. After that, it's open season. <laughs> I don't get it. It seems like the most asinine thing in the world, but ah, that's our government. All right, guys, as always, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Take care, and I'll talk with you soon.